Okay, now I also want to look at the root five minor pentatonic. First fourth, first fourth, first third, first third, second fourth, first fourth. Finger per fret. It's really important that you play these. It's a great finger exercise and it's how they need to be played. Four, one, four, two. I should say it's how they need to be practiced. Three, one, three, one, four, one, four, one. So play that back and forth. You got it 10,000 times. And we're going to expand it. This time we move these two notes. First, third, first, third, first, third, slide up. First, third, first, third, slide up. First, third. Three, one, three, one, slide down with your first. Three, one, three, one, slide down with your first. So here it is, again, 10,000 times. Slide up. pentatonic, four variations of each. That's uh, 80,000 times. That may sound crazy, but um, it, it, it's what has to happen. So just turn on the TV, do whatever you want, go through these. Think how many times Michael Jordan shot a basketball. At least 80,000 times. So it depends on what level you want to play. If you just want to have fun with this, you know, and practice these, obviously you're going to start trying to play. But just to give you a gauge of how long it's going to take you before you really start having some freedom with these scales. Because a lot of times people say, well, I learned my scales, now I want to play lead. Well, I learned how to hit a tennis ball, now I just want to play a game. It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to hit that tennis ball and volley and keep the ball going. Uh, much less win a game until you really have some practice at it. So it just kind of gives you a measuring stick by which there really is a learning curve on the guitar. But once you start to take off, then you can really have some fun. So put the practice in now so you can have fun with it as soon as possible. 